that's part of uh, what our roles are here is to figure out that business and uh, how to best apply the uh, the social extensions. I mean, we've seen that once people are put some uh, put some time and effort into their pages, they've seen great uplifts in what they're doing in terms of search, in terms of all the other avenues that they're uh, they're uh, working with online. One of the big benefits I think we're building that on Google Plus is the Hangouts. Now we've seen many companies around the world start to use Hangouts to talk to their customers, to their consumers, whether it's about a new product launch or whether it's about um, a development they're making or, or, or an issue they may have. Um, being closer to their consumers is important. So Google can be an enabler for that, bringing uh, uh, consumers and our businesses and advertisers together and allowing them to have a conversation. This has been very positive for many brands around the world and I'm, I'm hoping that we see some of that in, uh, in Philippines. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, one of the way we do that is to delight users. So we don't focus on, we don't try and build our brand. We try and build our products and our user experience. And then usually what happens after that is people have a close relationship with our brand. So the focus is really around uh, creating really great experiences for consumers on the product side, but also on the advertiser side. Like how do we make it easy for people to advertise? And how do we make it easy for them to use Google? And that helps. The, the net result of that is a is hopefully a better uh, user, user experience and a brand uplift in terms of how people feel about it. It really depends on uh, on a number of factors, but you know, without uh, without attaching numbers to it, we're looking at it uh, increasing. We've seen like a double, uh, well, I'd say in the past two years or so. Uh, Still a lot of there. There's still a lot of room for upside because mo the majority of ad spend does go to television. So we're looking to attract that. Um, you know, print, radio, all of these. I mean, just 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 think about how you use the internet every day, right? More and more minutes spent online. More and more minutes spent watching videos. You're on Gmail. You're on GChat. You're on any number one of these vehicles. Um, and as we get the word out and as we educate. Uh, not only the consumers, but the um, the publishers and the advertisers are going to see an increase in spend. Well, the very nature, just to build on that, the very nature of marketing is changing. Yeah. So, the accountability and measurability that online brings has never seen, been seen before. Right. So that's uh, that's a key asset. And and you find now what happens is we're not saying everything should be online. You, know, you should be doing integrated campaigns. If you're doing a TV campaign and you don't have an online campaign, it's like running a TV app without sound. Right, yeah, you've, you've ultimately done yourself a disservice from a marketing standpoint. Because the consumer goes and searches, right? Yeah, it's about an integrated campaign, right? We're not uh, we're not saying that you should uh, totally abandon other media or other means of advertising, but there's certainly a place for the online component, right? And with increased usage, and um, you know, uh, 33 million currently online, doubling that number within the next three years, we're going to start to see more and more of a shift towards. Uh, Towards uh, online advertising, and it's part of our um, our, our uh, reason for being here is to educate everybody and uh, make that a better user experience for all. Right? That's our users, that's our publishers, and that's our advertisers. 